The word of God is light. The word of God is truth. The word of God is life. Join God's servant, Apostle Jonathan Shokonya of Family Worship Experience International as we journey into the reality of kingdom truth. Lift your hands. Please increase the volume of the keyboard a little. Whisper to him how much you love him. Talk to him. Tell him how much you are in love with him. the same way I came that I might not return the same way I came in here today let something happen to my spirit let something happen to me oh we honor you Jesus hallelujah can you just be seated in this holy atmosphere quietly please keep playing 
bless you worship team thank you while the minister and I sat there I was just resting in the spirit I was just resting and I believe this was happening to everybody hallelujah the Bible said times of refreshing always come from his presence so that you are not permitted to be here and then return back the same take it a semitone higher Hebrews 11 let's attempt to continue from where we stopped last week silver or gold I won't trade you for riches on top Lord you are you are my everything you are you are my everything you are, you are my everything. Cause there's nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. And we cry in love. Oh, nobody like you, Lord. work of faith part two spirit of the sovereign lord please come and make your presence known reveal the glory Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Just use the cymbals lightly. Great, great are you, Lord. That's fine. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Great Great are you, Lord. 
Take it one more time. You are, you are the power of Gilead, of Gilead. You are the rose of Sharon, you are the rose of Sharon. Hey, you are my peace in the midst of the storm. You are the air I breathe. Oh Lord, you are. You are the air I breathe. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, you are. You are the air I breathe. Oh Lord. somewhere this morning and I told them that people have done everything possible they've attempted everything possible in their bid to succeed attended seminars business seminars and there's nothing wrong with all of those things except that they've refused to go for the presence of God because as important as it is that you go for business seminar until light comes on what you've heard it does not make sense you can attend a business seminar your business keep dying there is something that comes by the agency of the spirit when it drops on your spirit then light is candle like that song light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord 
light me, Lord, like a candle, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle, light me, Lord, tonight light us, Lord, light me, Lord. Oh, tonight, Lord, light us like a candle. Light me, Lord. Hey, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord. Hallelujah. And that's what we call revelation. That's what changes men. Hallelujah. The book of Hebrews 11. Let's continue from where we stopped and trust God to wrap up tonight. Hebrews 11 from verse 32. Remember this were the last verses we had last week. Amen. Now look up. And what shall I more say? For the time will fail me to tell you. This night time will not fail us. No, you will hear. Say amen. No, 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 no. Time will not fail us. So just get your ears open get your heart open time will not fail us we have all the time here this night amen hope you are not in a rush hope you are not in a rush you can't be amen he said time will fail me number one to tell you of gideon a weakling a beggarly man who was running away from his enemies and after one encounter he became a general time will fail me to tell you of that guy he was timid like every other person can be he was a a weakling he was a man that was afraid of life and all the things that surround life and so he found a place and was hiding what he has harvested and an angel appeared to him and said mighty man of value he said time will fail me to begin to unveil the story of this man to you last week if we start from the previous verses that we, we, we examined the life of great men who were translated who walked in the supernatural on a count of their faith and then he ran out of time and started telling us that there was a man called Gideon who was used mightily of God although his life at the initial was not what it became at the end then he said of Barak a man who understood the mystery of invocation in the spirit how that kings will have to send for him to come and invoke a cause on a nation so that they can be able to break through the walls of their protection and when he was on his way coming the bible says even the donkey he was riding tapped into his prophetic anointing a man that had unusual access to the realm of the spirit he said time will fail me this is another man i can tell you about and then he said of samson a man who used one bow i mean one one jar is it job they call it this bone of a cow and destroy 1000 people at the sitting a mysterious man who can be bound with chains and all of a sudden the chains can break loose by the mystery of the spirit it's a time will fail me to tell you of this guy and of jephthah an outcast a man whose mother was a prostitute but became the deliverer of the people you might be here tonight and that might be your story maybe your your genealogy is not pure somehow like david whose mother was a maid in the house hallelujah but later became a deliverer maybe i i feel that's why their name was kept side by side with david because after jephthah the next person mentioned was david david was not a a biological child of that home the the the, the father of of all the siblings was just meandering his way around the house and one day just slept with the lady who was a maid in the house and they gave birth to david he didn't share the same mother with the people and because of the shame his presence brought to them they sent him to the wilderness but while he was in the wilderness he was taught the act of invoking the presence of god and after a while that man became a mysterious person he said time will fail me to tell you of him and of samuel a man whose word never fall to the ground he walked in dimension of the prophetic that even if it was a mistake he prophesied god honored it mysterious time will fail me to tell you of samuel oh may god raise samuels in this place this night may god raise samuels in this place this night men who will understand the moves of the spirit who will understand what god is doing part time not blind believers i think we prayed this prayer last week 
not men who are completely blind and deaf to the things of the spirit trying to live by trial and error no 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 so time will fill me and of the prophets next verse sir, who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness obtained promises whatever god promised them they were able to obtain the promises and then the bible said they stopped the mouth of lions remember daniel in the lions then remember david killed so many lions before facing goliath he said this guy stopped the mouth of lions they had access to another realm that was not natural quench the violence of fire some of them were thrown into fire and on account of their faith they escaped the violence of fire they escaped the age of sword out of weakness we are made strong men it's not like they were strong men naturally but through faith the guys were made strong works valiant in fight like the armies of david the bible tells us of the mighty men of david how that one man can stand and kill 800 to 1000 people alone mysterious fighters torn to flight the armies of the aliens women receive their dead raised back to life again in other words their children died and they said no way we know the mystery that command resurrection we know it they refuse that their children will not die but you see if we stop at this point we've not done good to ourselves because many of us have been taught that faith works now 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 and in case it's not working for you now it means something is wrong with the equation of your faith no 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 not true listen that things are not yet working for you do not mean you are faithless because we are tempted in the body of christ to believe that result is the only thing that justifies faith it's not true many a times that things that are working for your favor might not even be your faith it might be the mercies of god at the times you were not believing god for anything and it came it means your faith was not even what would make it work so if we stop here we've not done ourselves good so the writer began telling us that other people were tortured remember if you read verse 2 the bible said these elders obtain good report through what through faith so even this was another report the bible said they were tortured and not like there was no way of deliverance there was a way of deliverance but they refused it not accepting the deliverance that was available that they might obtain a better resurrection and others had trials of cruel mockings they were laughed at scourging yeah moreover of bounds and imprisonment many were imprisoned they were stoned they were sown asunder we are tempted we are slain with the sword remember the earlier one the bible said they escaped the age of the sword now the bible tells us others were slain and all of them were men of faith no one of them was faithless all of them were men of faith they wandered about in sheepskin and goat skin being destitute afflicted and tormented like many of us might be squatting with friends now god will change your story say amen. amen no it won't last forever of whom the world was not worthy they wandered in desert in mountains in dens and caves of the earth hmm, this is the amazing part now all this or oh, and this all having obtained a good report through faith everything they experience and so in their lifetime the bible attached it to the faith they had in god but it said the promise they did not receive so even calling down fire by elijah was an act of faith there was still something that he would have done if he had the promise there was something better he would have done if he had the promise the bible said these guys wrote terrible things and then he tied all of the achievement and accomplishment to their faith he said there was still a promise that none of them were able to see they were not able to touch give us the last verse and having provided some better things for us so the promise that is left the bible says it's a better thing and it was left for our generation which means if elijah called down fire we should call down something greater than fire something better was reserved for our generation 
that they without us should not be made perfect hallelujah Matthew 17 Matthew 13, sorry, verse 17, sorry. Watch this. For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see these things which ye see, and to hear these things which ye hear, and have not heard them so kings prophets all the men of old the bible said they desired it they wanted to experience what you and i are experiencing now elijah with all the fire wanted to be in our dispensation moses with all the anointing desired to have been given birth to in our time why because of the promise that was reserved brothers and sisters we are in a better covenant we are in a better dispensation and if these guys could do all of these massive things if they could move mountains on account of their faith and the bible tells us that the real thing was not even given to them the real thing that would have commanded those results was not even given to them it was not shown to them i have a question how comes how comes the results in our life are not up to their own if we have the promise now and these guys had not promised the promise was not delivered to them what is wrong with our generation i hope you know the promise talked about there is the person of the holy spirit you had better realize that so the bible said the prophets all of the men of old david with all the dimensions of god's presence with all the the mysteries of activating the presence of god looked forward for our time he he really desired to have been given birth to in our time even john the baptist i read a, i mean some 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 documentary some times back and i realized that john the baptist was tempted to follow jesus as a disciple it was jesus that told him no way you had your assignment face your business because when he saw the life jesus was living he was tempted there is something i'm seeing in you that only you have watch this I've, I've taught you this before how many of you know that the holy ghost officially left the earth in genesis 6 are you aware of that read your bible very well genesis chapter 6 the holy spirit officially vacated the earth he left the earth officially and was no longer here no wonder the wickedness of men increased So all through scriptures all through scriptures he was not here that's from genesis 6 upward he was no longer here so man of god what happened to all the great men of god god used in those days each time there was an assignment i've told you this before the holy spirit comes on them and use them and after the assignment is over he left and returned back officially he was not here so when jesus came watch the life of jesus he walked around the bible said he had the spirit without measure he was the only one that had the holy spirit in his days in other words he monopolized the presence and the spirit of god in him so while he walked the earth doing amazing things the people saw his life and realized that this guy was not natural he was not ordinary this guy is not like elijah they were tempted to call him elijah but they knew there was something about his life more than elijah they were tempted to call him isaiah but they watched his life and realized there was something beyond isaiah tempted to call him all forms of names the disciples will walk with him and see the amazing things he's doing the bible says he was anointed with the holy ghost and power so that anywhere he stepped in goodness was available so they watched this guy doing amazing things healing the blind causing ears to be open at some point they truly desired this thing they needed it but there was no way they could have it so one time jesus called them he said guys come let's test run something i want you to go out and this thing i have i want to give you and, and access to what I carry so that you go and test it if it's sweet come back and tell me and one time he called his student and empowered them he said go and minister to people but ensure your ministration is within the jurisdiction of Israel because if you go outside that boundary the anointing will not work 
so the bible said they walked and while they went around they healed the sick casted out devils and they returned so excited in their spirit they said master even devils were subject to us even demons obeyed us he said that one is not something too big now do you know that prophet this was the same chapter do you know that prophet and and righteous men of those days desire to have a walk in what you are beginning to test now they needed it they wanted it by all means hallelujah and finally before jesus will go he left a promise with them in for them in luke 24 verse 49 and behold i send what no everybody look up behold i send what the promise the bible said they did not receive the promise now jesus is telling them do you know what that promise i will send him so tarry wait for me this thing is important you have it tarry and wait and you know there was a point Jesus was discussing with them give us the, that scripture John 16 John 16 Lord we love you from verse 5 if possible watch this but now I go my way to him that sent me and none of you ask me whither thou goest next verse sir. but because i have said these things unto you because i just told you i'm going away look at what has happened to you what has happened to them he says sorrow has filled your heart but you do not even know the mystery behind my going look at the next verse nevertheless give us the amplified sorry if you can however i'm telling you nothing but the truth when i say it is profitable it is good and expedient advantageous for you that i go away watch this jesus is saying while i walk the earth i was the only one that had the holy ghost so if i remain here with you you won't have it so it's better that i go away so that you can have what i have if i remain here i will become the star alone but i want everyone to be a star I want everyone to have access to what i have so he said if i remain here it will not be profitable it's important that i go away because if i do not go away the comforter the counselor the helper the advocate intercessor strengthener and then the standby mark that word the standby will not come to you he will not come into close fellowship with you he said but if i go away I will send him the promise to you and he will be in close fellowship with you we want more of you tonight oh god we want more of you jesus the more i know you is the more i want to know you jesus more of you give us verse 13 sir La broshati man higher. we love you jesus but when he said the spirit of truth the truth giving spirit comes he will guide you sorry but when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all truths for he will not speak of his own message on his own authority but he will tell you whatever he hears from the father he will give you the message that has been given to him look at the next verse and he will announce and declare to you things that are yet to come in order what the prophetic will be easy and cheap when the holy spirit comes you will be able to hear you will be able to see so it's important for you that i go away Holy Spirit, we love you. We love you. We love you. Do you know there are still believers who prefer to have had Jesus here than the Holy Spirit? There are believers sincerely, if you ask them, they will tell you, see, me, I would have preferred that Jesus is here. 
if he was here i would have believed him more i think i would have related with him more it's not true because exactly what jesus was to the apostles is what the holy spirit is to us do you know that there are people who saw jesus even after his resurrection that they still believe him are you aware of course matthew 28 verse 17 verse 17 the bible said they saw him and worshiped him but some doubted they didn't still believe him so even if jesus was here many of us seated down here we still doubt him we won't believe him so jesus said I, I i know it i know it so it's important for you that i go away so that when i'm gone i will send the promise and peter told us that indeed the holy spirit was that promise because when the day of pentecost was fully come the bible said they were together with one accord and all of a sudden there was this mighty wind that came and that was the promise arriving let's see how peter talked about it acts 2 acts 2 37 and 39 And when they heard this, they were stung, cut to the heart, and they said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Brethren, what shall we do? What shall we do? Next verse, sir. Give us the, the King James. This is too long for us. Quickly. You have it quick there? Yeah? All right. And Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Next verse, sir. For the promise is unto you. This Holy Spirit that the men of ancient didn't have access to. He said, That one is for you and your children. You are supposed to walk with him as a standby. You are supposed to work with him as an advocate. You and your children is meant for you. To prove to you again that Jesus was the only one that had the Holy Ghost in his days. And it came on him on the day of his baptism. Watch this. The Bible said when he died, it was the custom in Israel that if the people crucified did not die that night and the next day was the sabbath they will have to do something to them to die on time so they will break their legs to cause them to just give up on time so that they could bury them and then one of the soldiers came and realized that two guys were i mean he thought all of them were alive actually so the bible said he broke the legs of one and then went to the other and broke his leg and when he came to jesus he realized that jesus was already dead and the bible said he collected a spear and pierce his side have you read that in your bible john 19 and the bible said water and blood came out the blood signifying the washing away of our sins and water signifying the ministry of the holy spirit how that there is coming a time he will be poured on us like that and watch this i watch a bible documentary how that the man who used the spear to pierce his side could not move as soon as the water touched him he fell under the power of god and all the people that were around as they attempt to run the power of god got them confused and this is exactly what happened when the holy ghost came on them on the upper room they were filled with power so the piercing of his side and the release of water was a prophetic symbol of the coming of the holy spirit how that he will come on everybody he said it's for us and our children which means even your children should begin to prophesy from birth. Your children should be filled with the Holy Ghost from birth. He is for us. I have a question. When John the Baptist collided with Jesus, he was still in the womb. What happened to him? No, what happened to him? He was filled with the Holy Ghost. Which means your child should be filled from the womb. They should have it. This is the dispensation. The Bible says all these men they obtain the report through faith they obtain report good report through faith but compared to our time they didn't even have it we have some better things reserved for us in one minute can you pray in tongues something will be activated in your spirit this night oh believe what i'm telling you go ahead pray in the spirit Jata parato braskitaya Janda lo proskati balana mandeka Rama proskapalina mandekura sketa 
come on are you whispering to him in the spirit are you whispering to him in the spirit are you whispering to him in the spirit it's expedient for you that I go away so that when I'm gone I will send you the promise the promise the promise the promise the promise the promise Zabron te praske tabala da brandeka Jala da 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 bosh Hallelujah Now watch this I I have a little challenge and you know what the challenge is We as believers begin to make claims of things that are not their realities And not to negate faith because I know we are taught to confess things and then they become our reality that's fine but when you are confessing things and you do not know how to get them into your life you become a noisemaker and you can confess them for a lifetime and nothing happens to you believe me believe me we've said all kinds of things our dispensation is greater than the moses greater than the elijah we are in the dispensation of the promise and we've used teachings that are accurate but then we lack the understanding we are new creation people which that, there is nothing wrong with that that's exactly who we are and then we are in a better covenant all of those things listen you are not better than moses you are only better than moses on account of your partnership with the holy spirit don't deceive yourself you are never better than elijah you are only better on account of your partnership with the holy spirit because watch the life of these guys that didn't even have him see the things they did in their generation moses alone spoke to two million people without microphone which mystery commanded that happening look at us today we have to have gadgets to ensure that everybody hears how did he talk to the people how mysterious guys then we make claims this and that will not happen to me i can never lose any battle and you are losing the battles in your life check the life of david fought all the battles in his life and never lost one we are defeated by sicknesses defeated in our businesses defeated in academics and these guys remember the three wise boys the chedrag meshach and abednego these guys were not we are not magicians they were not astrologers but look at what the bible says about them he said when they were compared they were 10 times 10 times better than magicians and then they were set as president over the magicians i have a question a magician want to do his incantation you are the one that directs him on how to do it and you are not a witch you can look at him and tell him this one you are doing will not work you say no it will work you say we'll do it now i'm seeing the equation in the spirit that's how mysterious they were that's how mysterious they were and then we make claims we are big we are greater than daniel how many dreams have you had and you didn't have explanation to them david explained all the i mean sorry joseph explained all the prophetic dream that came across him and no one was mistaken Daniel the same thing no one was mistaken look at how the result in our life have betrayed our claims and we keep claiming we are what we are not come on now who who is deceiving who in this thing listen if we do not arise and tell ourselves the truth in our very presence we will watch some wizard coming up and this is why I love people like John G. Lake. People who work in terrible dimensions. Listen, he came to a point where he will announce that all the wizards in South Africa should gather. There is a contest. Can you imagine that? A man of God, he will make an announcement. All the wizards gather. There is a contest. Let's see who can, I mean, whose God can answer. Just like it was in the days of Elijah. And they will bring a chronic man whose leg have been twisted and cannot walk. Then he will tell them, whoever can make him walk by the equations of the spirit we believe him they will do all their equation and nothing happen when he comes he stretch his hand in the name of jesus the guy rises up and walk if we have not see if we cannot do these things it means there is something wrong with our claims then we keep claiming <laughs> corinthians 3 17. 
give it to us. Let's see. Second Corinthians, I believe, three seventeen. Three seven. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Or give us from verse six, because I love verse six. Watch this. Who had made us what? Everybody hearing my voice. Who had made everyone here able ministers? Not me, not 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 any man of God. He has made all of us able ministers of the New Testament. The dispensation of the promise. He said, not of letters, but of the spirit, the promise. Why? He said, For the letter can kill a man. But those of us who have the spirit can give others life. We are life givers. Then next verse. He said, but if the ministration of dead that was written and engraven in stones was glorious. Watch this. If it was glorious, who is the Bible talking about here? Moses, right? Remember Moses was with God. <laughs> he was with God for 40 days. When he was coming back with the commandment, he broke them. And God asked him to come again. And God didn't tell him to bring bread. What was he eating? If it's our dispensation, the Lord said, Come in for seven days indoor. You ask him, Lord, for life or apple. Is that not which which dimension are we going with fruits or we are going with water? <laughs> Moses went up without talking about food, and something sustained him there. Something kept him. These guys knew certain things that I think we are ignoring. So he said, if the ministration, because when Moses came down, the Bible said his face was literally shining, right? The people could not even look at him because of the literal glory. So that the children of Israel could not steadfastly behold his face. Or the face of Moses. For the glory of his countenance, which was to be done away with. It was not something serious. This is what the Bible is saying. He said, what Moses had was not a serious thing. Because it will pass away very soon. Not like the one you receive that is in you. The Bible said, for in him we live in him we move and in him we have our being next verse how shall not he's asking us a question now how shall not the ministration of the spirit be rather glorious how why why If we are not in partnership with the Holy Spirit, believe me, there are many things that are impossible for us. The Bible said with God, how many things are possible? Outside partnership with the Holy Spirit, many things for us will be impossible. It will look like God lied to us. It's in your Bible that God can do this, He can do that, but it will look like God lied. And remember, the Bible said God is not a liar, He's not a man that He should lie, right? nor the son of man that he should repent the enemy has done us a very great havoc and you know the havoc he's replacing the holy spirit in our life with many things the holy spirit has been replaced in our generation by many things many things in many ministries what has replaced the holy spirit is the board of elders yes they sit down make decision service <laughs> no opening prayer one minute your message 25 minutes what are you preaching with no head 25 minutes wire seven minutes <laughs> they decide it so when we come into a service you know what to expect and you see the service going the way you want it to go not the way god wants it to go God have been he has been kept outside the church so that when people close they pick him outside but inside our church we've, we've given him quick notice he has been replaced by many things at times he comes into the church he realizes that the structure has kept him outside so the way we organize our service he cannot even come in he's kept outside little wonder there are few things that happen in our meeting I used to wonder why a believer can sit at home on Sunday and not go to church when you ask him he says see Kai, oh, i went last week the way the thing happened 
<laughs> oh Jesus, let don't worry, I'll go next week. Ah, he he wants you to believe it. He'll be asking, Don't you understand? No, you should understand now. I went, it's not like I didn't go last week. I went, but even you didn't you go, were you not there? Didn't you see the way things went? Then he said, Kai Mima was there, or even me, the message, the way that it was going, Kai. Oh Jesus. So let's rest now. So, so guys can rest on Sunday and listen, it's not their fault. We, the men of God, have not tried because we've not shown them what they should see. We, in fact, when certain people are trying to rise, it's us, the men of God, that cage them. Satan have done havoc to the church, especially in Nigeria. Let me use that one in Nigeria. He has done havoc to us. Many things are coming into our life and they are pushing the Holy Ghost away. I'm going to show you three things that the enemy has, has kept as structures. And these things are putting us under unusual, I mean, unnecessary pressures all around. Oh, but tonight, Lord, may you light us up. Set us on fire. Oh, Lord. Please set our heart on fire for you. For you. Oh Lord. Set my heart on fire for you. Just follow me. For you. Oh Lord. Set my heart on fire. Set my heart on fire, oh Lord. Yeah. Oh, set my heart on fire, oh Lord. Set my heart on fire. Set my heart on fire. Please set my heart on fire. We have come to draw, draw, draw from you again. Yeah, hey, we have come to draw, to draw. Come to go 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 to 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 From you again, yeah. Hey. We come to draw, to draw, draw from you again, yeah. Yeah. We have come to draw. To grow, to grow, to grow from you again. Hey, we have come to grow, to grow, to grow, 
shall go from you again. Let me wrap up the teaching and we are praying already. He marama to the lamb upon the throne. He marama, you're the lamb upon the throne. He marama, you're the lamb upon the throne. Watch this. Do you know that those in Acts of the Apostles never had similar services to the other? Every service was unique. They showed us a picture of how the new church was supposed to be. In their church, the new church, miracle happened before service starts. They were on their way to service. They healed a man by the gate. But look at our own. It will be towards the end of the service. What happened to us? There is something we are not getting services were we were, were so unusual they were so unusual 
so that people always look forward to being in church when it's time for service everybody was excited about it because they knew there will be a new experience there will be something fresh there will be something new to see but these days we come to church everything is the same there is something we are not getting we only can be better than moses if we're in partnership outside him if we neglect him we are joking we are playing we will make that noise till we get to heaven and jesus will look at you and say see you are a noise maker i'm disappointed with the holy ghost standing by you always you walk the earth as though nobody was with you if you have him then live life let's truly know you have him you must not be a pastor but in the way you do your business let's see a sign that you are partnering with a greater force I told them in, in the way we are ministering yesterday and today i told them listen no human being was designed to rise in his natural state everybody was designed to partner with something higher than him to rise so if we see you limited in life we will know that you are not partnering with the force the psalmist says some trust in chariot some trust in horses all that trust in the name of the lord he didn't tell us some are empty he didn't tell us there are others who don't trust in anything which means if you choose to remain in between your life will be in shambles he said some decide to trust in the name of the lord three things others trust in horses some in chariot you that is not trusting in anything you are in trouble because according to the equations in the spirit something higher than you must hold your hand mm, it must hold your hand see the way we are talking with no results see the enemy have done us three harm i want to share with us briefly and then we'll pray the atmosphere is so charged just ensure you are receiving the impartation as the word comes many of you your life must change today enough of falling down nothing is happening to you something must happen it's not about your falling this night but something should happen to your spirit something should happen imarama you're the lamb upon the throne you're the beautiful one, me, the lamb upon the throne. He, Marama, you're the lamb upon the throne. He, Marama, he, Marama, oh. Imarama, <laughs> Imarama, Imarama, Imarama. Himarama, you're the lamb upon the throne. Himarama, you're the lamb upon the throne. Himarama, you're the lamb. God, please permit us to finish this teaching. Now, watch this major things that the enemy is using to replace the Holy Spirit in our life number one technology maybe your mind had never gone there number one technology appliances technology your phone your laptop the more them you use in browsing gradually instead of receiving information remember he said when he the spirit of truth is come he will teach you right and he said he will even show you things that you do not know that's what we are trying to use youtube to replace so that in case you need an information you don't bother to ask the holy spirit the first place you want to go on is online you need an idea about business the first thing you want to do is to browse business ideas and meanwhile the holy ghost is the standby look at the way he stands like 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 you you are 25 years now he has been following you for 25 years he has never told you anything and he has been standing like this do you know watch this believers hardly can blaspheme against the holy spirit i know that are many of you who are scared the bible said sin against the holy ghost cannot be forgiven right many of you are scared will i blaspheme will i not? no 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 it's very 
difficult for a believer to blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. Almost impossible. But look at what we can do. We can easily grieve the Holy Spirit. For instance, when he's standing by you and talking to you and you are not responding. For instance, when you are looking for help in other places, meanwhile he has the help. When he's following you around for 20 years and you are talking to everybody around except him. You see it? We we'll use our phones when a man wake up in the morning, the first thing he wants to carry is his phone, right? I heard research shows recently that an average man at least spend four hours on his phone every day. At least four hours. If you can use that four hours to stay with the Holy Spirit, what would your life become? So we keep we keep doing all kinds of things. Do you know that the men of the ancient didn't have technology? If Moses was in our time and the Lord told him to go and cross that Red Sea, he will ask the Lord which company will come to build a bridge. Is that not? But hence there was no company that can build bridges. He went to the Lord and said, Lord, what's the equation? Because this sea must part. But I know there is a way. The Lord told him, there is a rod in your hand. Stretch it forth. Stretch it. We've used technology to cover up so many things. It is nice. They came for our good. We know we've used this to reach out to nations around and there's nothing wrong with that. Except that many of us have been caged by it. We have been. Look at a young man that do not have a phone. See how troubled he is. See a lady who do not have a good phone. See how troubled she can be. Except those the Lord has touched and, and, and they are truly broken. See how, how, how dis discouraged they can be about everything. You ask them what's the problem. They say I don't have a phone. Is that why you are troubled? Why not use that time to spend with the Holy Spirit? Elijah didn't have a phone. Elisha didn't have a phone. And watch this. One time Elisha was in his house. The king of Israel sent that he should go and cut off his head. He knew. Who, who called him on phone? Those of you who are in the university when there is a test and people are not in class before you know two minutes see everybody in class do i have witnesses at least of course i went to the university let children just come and see 15 people he will write test on the board before he turn <laughs> class is full there is huh? <laughs> from where is comet down technology but this was supposed to be a spiritual thing remember philip was just enjoying himself and the holy ghost says see start running and he ran and met a man he said join him and talk to him he joined him and finished talking after baptizing him he said we are next the holy spirit said as of us he said how do we get there he said just close your eyes disappear and he disappeared at will and found himself there that's how we're supposed to live but right now if i finish this ministration i ask the lord where and he says south africa i said lord which plane which airline is that not there is nothing wrong with all of those things except that they are taking the place of the holy spirit gradually so our attention is being shifted away from the holy spirit and now we concentrate on these things with the whole of our hearts technology is very nice very good but it has taken the place is gradually replacing the holy spirit in our lives gradually gradually there are people who do not go to church again because they believe they can service online right do you know that no matter how much you listen to a message the atmosphere where that message was preached is more intense it's a different thing listening to a message and being in that atmosphere if you collect this message and preach it now and you listen to it you really will be blessed but you will not get the substance like you are seated down here now there is a natural fragrance of his presence that permeates the environment even those outside will feel it compare I me mean, more than those who listen on messages and the Bible says we should not forsake the garden of together. Well, brethren, rather, as the manner of some is. Technology, number two. You're my glory and the lifter of my head. Satan is attempting to replace the Holy Spirit with tangible things that can be seen. Visible things so that many believers now believe that everything you see with your eyes all that there is brothers and sisters there is a realm you can't see that is more solid than our realm remember one of our scriptures last week hebrews 11 3 
how that everything that was created that we can see with our eyes we are created from things we can't see right paraphrasing now everything you see created has a copy in the realm of the spirit i told us last week how did white men invent aircraft do you know they saw it from africans because our people were flying without aircraft our guys were just flying anyhow on brooms frying on granite back just flying anyhow and they saw it they said my god <laughs> what do we do these guys are becoming more than us let's invent something they saw it in the spirit and brought it hallelujah brothers and sisters everything you see visible has a copy in the spirit in fact the original remember when moses was to build the, the, the tabernacle he was taken to see the copy in heaven first it exists somewhere it exists right now because we cannot see the holy spirit we just believe he's not there because we cannot touch him we believe he's not there meanwhile he's always there always always david knew this and look at what he told god he said where can i go from your presence I know you are in fact the way i'm standing here you are you are you are everywhere around me where can i go from your presence number three because i just want us to pray now you're the lamb upon the throne the pressures of life the pressures of life the necessities of life Many of you, the way you are sitting right now, what you are beginning to think about is there is no food in my house, right? As, as intense as this atmosphere is, what's in your mind is the emptiness of your house. And watch this, that alone can distract you from receiving and from pressing into God. So the enemy, listen, to many of you right now, you are very spiritual. The only area the enemy can get you is money so if he can push you to the world to a point where you don't you, you turn around there is no way and the only thing you need is then he can just use that to frustrate your life money money pressures everywhere and this has affected many believers to many is their house rent right is that true yeah it troubles you to a point you can't concentrate again even when the lord is speaking you can't hear because what's in your you stay in the place of prayer as you begin to pray in tongues two hours three hours the next thing your house rent comes to your mind your school fee comes to your mind and all of a sudden you are distracted it affects everybody even men of god you see us busy around trying to organize programs and we are not spending time with the person that asks us to organize a program the enemy is creating a structure a system and all of these things are, are gradually shifting us away from the person of the holy spirit gradually giving us a distance and listen if we do not return on time if we do not return on time we will look one day and realize that we are we are far behind those who were serious somehow got the flight in the spirit but tonight my cry is that everyone 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 becomes a partaker of what the lord intend to do with our generation everyone jesus be lifted higher be lifted higher be lifted higher Jesus be lifted higher, be lifted higher, be lifted higher. Jesus, you be lifted higher, be lifted higher, be lifted higher. Jesus, you believed it higher, believed it higher, 
be lifted high. Two more times, say, Jesus, you be lifted high. Be lifted high. Be lifted high. Jesus, you be lifted high. Be lifted higher, be lifted higher. Can we just be on our feet? Jesus, be lifted higher, be lifted higher, be lifted higher. Jesus, you be lifted high, be lifted high, be lifted high. Jesus, you be lifted higher. Hey, be lifted higher. Be lifted higher. Listen, in the next two minutes, I want everyone, both inside and outside, to lift your voice and pray in the spirit. Just activate everything you've heard tonight. Say, Lord, I activate the realities of the spirit in my life come and lift your voice and pray you are under the sound of my voice and show you are praying and show you are praying we've come to draw 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 from you again Come to throw Come from you again We have come to throw To throw To throw from you again To throw from you again Come to those We've come to draw, to draw, we've come to draw, pray two prayers and we are done for tonight Lord help me to live a spiritual life I refuse to be carnal I refuse to be natural activate my spiritual senses help me to live a spiritual life you are under the sound of my voice lift your voice and pray Lord help me to live a spiritual life Shalabatikavara da 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 da
I see great things in my dreams, but they never manifest. Did God call me to always manifest in the realm of the spirit? Watch. Many of us are like that. Every reality you've seen about your life that you like only happened in your dream. It has never manifested. In your dream, you healed the sick. In your dream, you had money. In your dream, you got married. In your dream, you had a house. But no one has ever manifested. Listen. It's a sign that those realities are available for you in the spirit. But something is stopping them to manifest here and now. You're going to pray and say, Lord, whatever my life is supposed to be in the realm of the spirit, whatever you've designed my life to be in the spirit, I enforce it in the natural. I begin to live that life. Activate my spiritual senses. I live that life. I live that life. I live that life. Ensure you are praying. Can you lift your hands to heaven? Bless his name, lift your hands. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Lord, I receive everything you have for me tonight. Lord, I partake. Oh, Lord, I receive. Lord, I partake, I partake of the supernatural life. Come and declare, Lord, I receive, I receive whatever you have for me in the realm of the spirit. I partake to my Lord, I receive. I receive. I receive. Oh, Lord. I in the glory, in the glory, and the honor, and the honor. I see miracles. I see miracles. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. I
sing two songs and then I'll minister to a few people and I'm done. Let me just do that with the keyboard. Just get connected. While I sing this, many of you are going to have impartations of the spirit. No one must touch you, but let your spirit be open to receive. The presence of God is mighty in this place. Holy Spirit, Come flow through us. Holy Spirit, come flow through us. This is how we're designed to live. God flowing through us. And make our lives what they ought to be. Holy Spirit, Come flow through me. Holy Spirit, come flow through me. I see a number of people God is introducing himself to. Holy Spirit, come flow through me. desire to love the Lord afresh something is happening to a number of us Come bread upon me, bread of God, bread upon me, Spirit of the Lord, as we lift our hands in surrender to your name, Moses, we're ye. 
your spirit and we are walking in your love Jesus we adore Jesus we Jesus, we adore. Jesus, we adore. Help this lady. Jesus, we adore. Your holy name. Sweet Spirit of God. May we represent you. May we walk with you. Jesus, we adore. Jesus, we adore. I see the ministration of angels happening right now. They are calling us like they call John. The Bible said, an angel told him, come up here and I will show you things to be. He is calling a number of you up. Calling you up to a higher life. A higher life. A higher life, a higher life, help them, a higher life, a higher life, a higher life, a higher life. Shate pro Jesus, I adore. Jesus, I adore. Oh, Jesus, I adore your Lord. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Oh, me. Lord and Father of mercy and grace, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome into our lives, into our careers, our families. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome into our life. Oh, me, but and Father of mercy and grace. Thou art welcome Hallelujah. 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 Lift your hands wherever you are. Jesus, I pray for everyone tonight. May God step into your life. May God step into your life. May you become a living epistle. What we've heard tonight, may God make us to live in the reality of this world. May we live in the reality of this world. In the name of the Lord Jesus. May no one under the sound of my voice be a natural man. The Bible says, For no natural man can receive the things of the Spirit because they are spiritually designed. You must be a spiritual man to have them. I pray that every area of your life, wherever I feel God is sending you to, may He make you an authority in that area. 
in partnership with his spirit may you become the voice in that area may you rise beyond the things that have limited ordinary people from now on the holy spirit is your senior partner may he himself reveal himself to you may he reveal himself to you this is what he's telling me he's going to move again in this crowd in the next 60 seconds and i want you to be still wherever you are as he plays this string just be still don't be distracted this meeting is unusual this night feeling like the fountain of God rising in your spirit the deep is calling on to the deep the deep is calling on to the deep the deep is calling deep calling to deep is an intercourse of spirits the spirit of God with your spirit is an intercourse of spirits is an intercourse of spirits we love you tonight. We love you tonight. We love you tonight. We love you tonight. We love you. Hallelujah. Please, amen. Come. We want to pray for you. Amen. You. The Lord told me, let there be an acceleration in your life. When I looked at you, I saw God taking you to a new plane in the spirit. I stretch forth my hand towards you right now. I decree that the hand of God be mighty upon you now. Let grace be multiplied. May He open your eyes to see in the spirit. May He cause you to do mighty things for Him. Receive that impartation of grace. For everyone under the sound of my voice from this night, I give you one counsel before I pray for you. Give him time. One counsel. Give him time. Give him time. As much as you can. Give him time. See, we will truly be frustrated without him. Believe me. Believe this early. We are still young. Many of us are young people. Let's, let's not be frustrated at 50 before we realize our mistake. We will fail without him. Give him time. And I pray for you that as many as will create that time to spend with him, may he truly show himself in your life. May it not just be a religious activity. May it not just be effort wasted. I pray that may he truly, truly reveal himself to you. May you see him as he is. May you experience him. May your life be changed. People who want to know the description of a spiritual life will see it from your life. People who want to know how to live in the spirit will see it from your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Many of you from today will step into realms of visions. 
because he will begin to show you things help her don't be distracted many of you will step into season of visitation of angels i mean you'll be receiving them and having discussions with them many of you from today your eyes will unusually be open into the word of god because each time you study he will right be there with you to teach you the lord honor you the lord lifts you high and make you become a standard in the name of the lord jesus and finally may nothing take his place again in your life may nothing replace him in your life may nothing nothing replace him in your life in the name of the lord jesus touch his own yes i'm gone everybody just begin to bless the name of the lord may you step into the fullness of your assignment touch my hand touch my hand may you step into the fullness of your assignment whatever has limited you let it go let it go let it go step into it manifest it in jesus name just bless his name give him praise tonight Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Hallelujah. While everybody is standing, you know you are not born again. You want to give your life to the Lord. Please, everybody, just maintain your position. Stand wherever you are standing. You are not yet born again. You want to rededicate your life to the Lord. Or you are doing this for the first time. Please, wherever you are, I want you to mean this from your heart in fact i will have to pray for you especially so that whatever pulls men down will not pull you down again please wherever you are you are taking this decision under this atmosphere of god's presence i want you to just take a step quietly and come forward meet me here i'll be waiting for you whether you are outside or you are inside come come god bless you i will personally have to touch you and pray with you the grace of god will hold you whether you are rededicating your life or you are doing this for the first time, whichever class it is, come. Come. God bless you. God bless you. If you are joining them, join them now. Join them. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. I want you to put your heart in your chest, I mean your hands on your chest and talk to God for yourself. I want to pray with you, but I want you to talk to the Lord for yourself. Ask him to forgive you, ask him to hold you, ask him to strengthen you. I want to pray for you, but I want you to talk to him yourself. I keep myself away. So you can use me. Everybody say, I give myself away. I want to keep you till all I'm present. I give myself away. So you can use me. Give myself away. I belong to you. So are you, so are you, so are you. himself will keep you in the name of the Lord Jesus amen and amen can you be on your feet please thank you so much for this decision please our counselors attend to them quickly and briefly outside God bless you just take this will be right out there waiting for you amen amen hallelujah all right this is your first day being with us here you've not been here before we want to pray for you and bless you please wherever you are can you take a step come forward quickly before we share the grace please come 
come. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. God bless you. God bless you. Come. We love you. We are honored to have you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you. The Lord honor you. We are so honored to have you. So honored to have you. So honored to have you. We know that you have been blessed. You can follow us on our Facebook page at Family Worship Experience International or contact us through our email Family Worship Experience AOG at gmail.com or through these numbers 090-6368-2271 or 090-9491 8989 remain blessed